Hey guys, Nature from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. This video, I want to take a look at modifiers in Cubase. There's a bit of hidden functionality that can be accessed with various combinations of the Shift and Alt and Control keys uh, that can save you a bunch of time, especially when it comes to editing in your project. Let's jump in and take a look at a couple of examples of that. Right, so uh, as I said, Cubase, there's a bunch of places where you can use uh, modifiers to change how things function. A lot of the buttons and uh, controls often have alternate modes. For example, um, in your inspector, uh, generally when you select one of these uh, categories on the side, you have one uh, available to you. Um, but let's say, for example, you want to see more than one, you can hold down the control key and actually enable multiple um, windows at the same time uh, just by holding down control like that. Um, now, I want to specifically look at uh, just two handy little things um, to do with audio editing um, and the same modifiers that you can modify tools with by holding down the different keys. Uh, specifically slip editing, which I want to look at now. Uh, first things first is uh, the split tool, for example. There's a really handy little function. If you hold down the uh, Alt key uh, when using your split tool, wherever you cut first will cut into uh, sections of that um, time. So let's say, for example, you have it set to 16th notes now. Using our key commands, we can just get to 16th notes and holding down the Alt key will slice the entire audio file into 16th note increments. And obviously you want to do quarter notes, uh, you'll have that um, sliced into quarter note increments. And this is kind of cool because you can do sort of a fake side chaining effect. I've got like a little vocal loop that we're going to do something with in just a second. Uh, for example, if you drag in your fades, and I'll release your fear. You have kind of like a little fake side chain going on there. Um, but we're going to go back into this now and use our uh, cut tool again just to, we'll split this into little 16th notes. Now, slip editing um, allows you to change the start points um, for specific uh, sections of audio without having to go in here and select a start point. Like normally you would do this the long way around, you would select the start point for your audio, move it in here somewhere, then you'd have to resize this you know, move it around a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is the slip editing to kind of just create a little uh, cut up vocal section. Uh, we're just going to use a single bar loop like that. So we've got our our cuts over here, which we can bring just uh, just outside the loop. And I want to find specific parts of the audio that I like uh, as little percussive sections. And so if you hold down the control and the alt key, you'll see your cursor changes to this little um, bi-directional arrow. And this is the slip editing tool. So when you click and hold down now, you can actually shift the audio around inside of um, the selection area uh, that's going to be playing. So what we can do now is loop this and listen to what we've got. Um, um. And let's grab another section. And we're going to try and catch that just over there. Okay, that one I'm happy with. And you can see where we're going with. Just kind of grabbing interesting sections of audio there and then adjusting them to suit our needs. So there you go, slip editing, you can kind of, uh, it just makes it really easy to just kind of adjust, cut up sections of audio like this. Um, we could then just add some, uh, uh, some delay or something to this. 
kind of just make it a little bit more like a... And then you have it, you got like nice little, uh, little chopped up loop section like that. And this can apply to pretty much anything, um, drum sounds or uh, if you're lining up uh, spoken word samples or whatever, uh, it's really simple to just kind of adjust these start points of your audio just by using the slip editing tool like that. Cool, so there you have it, that's the slip edit tool, a really handy little uh, function to just save you a bit of time when you get into the audio editing side of things. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.